Okay, let's uh, take a look and see what it, uh, how to do Elevon mixing. There's a, a link below to the theory of Elevon mixing, including the math and stuff, in case you're not familiar with it. But uh, here's how to uh, set it up. So the first thing we do is we jump over to the mix screen, and we're going to add the elevator to channel 2 and we're going to add the elevator to channel 3 and uh, channel 2 is on the left side of the plane uh, channel 3 is on the right side of the plane and so what we see is that which doesn't look good so the first thing we want to do is we want to get both channels responding to the elevator at 50%, and then we want to change uh, the sign, the plus or the minus, so that it's going in the right direction. So let's uh, do channel 2 first. We'll go in and edit, and we're going to change the weight to 50%. And we see the left side, that's good on the weight, but we need to reverse the channel. So we can uh, change the 50 to a minus 50. If we push plus and minus together, that will uh, change the sign. And now we can see we pull back, the elevon goes up, we push forward, the elevon goes down. Now let's uh, do the same thing for channel 3, the right side. And we edit, and we go, and we change the weight to 50. And we don't need to change the sign. So now we see this is good. We push forward, both of them go down 50%. We pull back, both of them go up 50%. Now, we see there's no, nothing on the uh, aileron stick. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix the aileron into both of these channels. So we're going to press and hold, and we're going to do an insert after. And the important thing, make sure the multiplex is add, because we're going to add these two sticks together. And then we're going to click. You can just push the aileron to get the stick. And we're going, oops, and we're going to change the weight to 50%. Now we push to the left and we see this needs to be reversed because when we push to the left the control surface should move up. So we click plus and minus, we get the minus 50% and this is good. We push to the left, the surface goes up, we push to the right, the surface goes down at an offset of 50%. And so now we come to channel 3 insert after. We make sure the multiplex is add and we pick the aileron and we bump that down to 50 percent and we push right and that should be going up. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the sign push plus and minus and now what we should see, we push right, the, uh, stick, the uh, surface goes up, we push left, the right surface goes down. So now that's pretty much uh, what's needed. The uh, hardest part is getting the signs right, and this is why you should just always do this on your, on your model, because it depends on the servo orientation, and you know, in one, you know, plus 50 is right for some, and minus 50 is right for others but basically it'll be a plus or minus 50. So let's check it out and make sure we've got it right. We push the elevator forward. Both, both control surfaces go down. We pull it back. Both control surfaces go up. We push to the left. The left goes up. The right goes down. We push to the right. The right goes up. The left goes down. 
Now we push to the right, forward, backwards. We push to the left, forwards, backwards. So that's pretty much it. That's all you've got to do. Uh, you just always remember that you mix elevator plus uh, aileron. Uh, everything is set to 50% because you're getting half input from both. And you just have to adjust the signs so that your control surfaces move the way they should.